What does Andrew think about you learning to fly? He says, but if I take any risks while I'm flying, he'll have me grounded. He treats me like one of his recruits. At least now I know what he's talking about when he's home on leave. How's everything going? You getting what you need? Yes, thanks. Well, I'm not. Miss him? Damn right. Do you think you'll ever get used to the fact that loneliness is part of the job of being a royal? No. Is there still someone in your life? Not precisely. And yours? I told you I have a hard time saying goodbye. Perhaps I should. Are you ready to do that? Absolutely. Are your decks clear? I suppose it's time for me to get on with things as well. The rules are laid out. You know what's expected of you, so why not deliver it for a change? I gave up my job and my friends because that was expected of me. You must learn that personal wishes are subsumed to a wider obligation. That's why we have a, a structure and a routine. You know what's really bothering me? <sighs> why do I have the feeling that you're about to tell me? It's like you're behind plate glass. I mean, I can see you and I know what you're like, but there's a distance between us and I can't close it. Nothing's changed. Not really. All right. You knew what you were getting into. Just do your job, keep your head down, and for God's sake, keep smiling. Well, one of us has to. Sometimes you're just like your father. I've arranged to give a statement. I never thought that I should have to discuss our marriage in public. It's not the first time, you know. A few weeks after we were married at the Guild Hall, perhaps you remember saying in front of about a thousand people, I know that the decision I made to marry Sarah was and always will be the best decision I have ever made or ever will make in my life. I remember every sweet word.